Hey everyone, welcome back to Rabble. I'm Sean, and uh, I know I haven't made a video for a while. I know I still haven't got to that Game of Thrones Season 7 recap and all that stuff. Uh, it's coming, that postgraduate job search, you know how that goes. But for some reason, I just could not stop myself from doing a Magic School Bus Rides Again trailer reaction. I knew that they were rebooting that show. It's one of my favorites growing up. Like that, uh, Magic School Bus, Arthur. Uh, Wishbone, probably like top three, honestly, uh, just going back to like, in terms of like educational TV. I knew they were rebooting it, I just didn't expect it to come this soon. Um, and it's one of those things I kind of rediscovered it on Netflix, uh, working with kids and showing it to, to some of my classes, and they really enjoyed it. It's kind of like a reward for them. Um, and so I'm excited, you know, it's one of those, I, I could enjoy it as an adult. So I'm, I'm interest, anxious to see whether or not it's still enjoyable for me now. I know they made some changes to it. I'm sh like, I can see from the, the screenshot that the animation is, is pretty different, but that's to be expected, it's 2017. I'm not really sure why they called it Magic School Bus Rides Again. I guess maybe it's supposed to be a sequel series, but that's weird because all the people that watched it when it was originally on have kids now. So uh, it's not like it's for us, but you know, I'm, I'm checking it out. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and uh, we'll see. Class, please like welcome Miss Fiona too. Felicity Frizzle. It's me. Whoa, total frizzle overload. Turns a bus. And they're like, is that her daughter? <laughs> Something's missing. The keys. You're going to have great new adventures, class. Whoa. Thanks, sis. Come along, Oh, everyone. it's her sister. So Miss Frizzle is not going to drive the bus no more. My big sister always says, bus, do your stuff. Down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. <laughs> Next thing that you know, you're seeing. I love it. Surfing on the side. I'm not feeling this voice. Swinging through the stars. Take your left at your right. Take your second right past Mars. They kept some of the same beats though from the theme song. I wonder what this one is. Whoever's doing this new version. A whole new world out there terrible. just waiting to be discovered. Magic school bus. Ooh. Well, Goldie, our adventure begins. Oh, professor now. And what's with the what's with the monkey? Uh Ugh, I don't think I like that. Mm -mm. Look, like, I get that I'm at the age where the stuff that I grew up with, they're redoing it now for a different generation and they're going to change it and that doesn't mean that the old stuff is invalidated now. So, I'm not going to overreact, um, but, ugh. This doesn't look like it has any of the personality of the original at all. Um, first off, Kate McKinnon, I've seen her in a couple things. Not a fan. I don't dislike her, but she's never stood out to me as like a quality performer. Maybe her voice work would be better, but for that, for, you, for her to follow up as the new Miss Frizzle, especially when they're tying her in to like the old one, was not good. I mean, she just had no personality. She had no energy to her voice. And it's not, I don't think it was smart for them to have her in the trailer like revealing her Miss Frizzle voice with the original Miss Frizzle at the same time, because you know people are gonna compare. It was not a good comparison, uh, not favorable for her. So that that's a miss. It's it's weird now that Miss Frizzle is like a professor, like the original Miss Frizzle, like a professor, but she's got the same class. So I don't know if she's going to college or, or something like that, and that would be cool. Like honestly, I would really like to see a, a magic school bus for like adults, like with adult and high, higher education and stuff like that with the original Miss Frizzle, like, it sounds stupid, but I, I'd definitely give it a chance. I would be more excited about that than this. It looks like they kept the same kids, though. Like, not the voices, but, like, the original cast, which I think is a smart choice because they had that, like, 90s era diversity, uh, and so I think they just need to keep rolling with that. I didn't notice Arnold, but I brought, once again, I was so focused on how off that voice was, and then, I'm sorry, I don't know who did the theme song, but it was trash. Terrible. And once again, it's like a direct comparison because 
They kept the same exact music, the same lyrics, and even parts of the theme song like were lifted straight out of the original one with like, you know, being in the intestines and the pie and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if that was smart. Uh, I didn't recognize the voice. I'm, I'm gonna look it up and see who did that because that was not good. Ugh. Okay, Lin-Manuel Miranda did the, the new version and I don't have anything against Lin-Manuel Miranda. I haven't seen Hamilton. I'm not a big Broadway person or anything like that. Uh, I know he's like America's sweetheart right now, but that was terrible. That was a Poochie's vocal performance. You can't follow Lil Richard with that little basic ass, no energy, no pizzazz, no soul, whatever the hell that was. The Magic School Bus theme song, you don't fuck with that. You leave it alone. I don't know why they didn't just keep it the exact same. Like I said, you got the original Miss Frizzle on there. You got the original kids. You got the original theme song in terms of music and lyrics and even like, you know, the intro images. Just leave the song alone. Like, don't make things harder on yourself. Netflix or whoever is in charge of this, make things easy on yourself. One, if Little Richard was old and washed up like by the time the original show premiered. I didn't care who Little Richard was. I didn't like the theme song because the singer was popular or current. I liked the theme song because it was good. This is trash. Kids that are just seeing this for the first time, they're not gonna care because it's the only theme song they know. But for people that are comparing, ugh. Like don't make things like a lower quality version of what the original was when you're remaking something. At least strive for like the same quality if you're not going to expand on it. Good thing about it being on Netflix is you can skip that intro. So just every time it comes up, skip, skip, skip. I wish there was like a setting to where you could have Netflix skip all your intros. Because one, I don't need to see the damn intro for, for a show I'm binge watching anyway. Most of the Netflix intros are trash. Like, they all suck, primarily, especially because I've been watching the Marvel shows, and it's just like, oh my god. This is getting skipped all the time. Every time. Each and every time. Because that was terrible. Lin-Manuel Miranda, know your limits. I guess I've heard him sing a couple times. I've never been particularly impressed. That did not change my mind. If they were going to get a dude from Hamilton to do the theme song, they should have got that dude, Leslie Odom, I think is his name. Nationwide Hamilton guy? Yeah, Leslie Odom Jr., that dude can sing. His nationwide jingles are so fire. If he put out an album, I would buy it like tomorrow. Just of nationwide jingles. Man, I'd be like rewinding commercials when I watch TV to hearing him sing the nationwide commercials. You want somebody to sing the nation sing the Magic School Bus song? Get him. He 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 couldn't do any worse than, than that. Um, there's a lot I'm not excited for with this. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a chance. I want to find out why all her kids are the same age <laughs> in the same class. I want to see if they're going to go like purely science or if they're going to do some other stuff. It was a science show, so I expected that to be the main focus. But yeah, Kate McKinnon uh, as the new Miss Frizzle, not conv you know, not, not impressive. And this new theme song is the worst. We'll see. It's not for me. It also ain't for me, so... Yeah, we'll see. Let me know what you think. You know, if I'm overreacting, fine, that's fair. I, I acknowledge that. But, I mean, do y'all think that the voice choices that they've made are going to be successful? Do you like the fact that the original Miss Frizzle is no longer the head of the class? The new theme song, should they have left it alone? Should they have just, like, not done the theme song at all? Should they have... Do you like the new version? Because I did not. So, you know, hit me up in comments. Be civil. On Twitter, you can hit me up at Sean underscore at underscore Rabble. I'll put it down below. I'll probably take those underscores out. It takes a long time to say. If you point out something that I missed, I would definitely acknowledge it in a future video. Like, share, comment. Uh, if you like our content, we definitely appreciate it. And then uh, be sure to check back out uh, Rabble in the channel for more videos. Take care.